Well, good luck trying to find a home or an apartment to rent here in the metro area. Take Aurora, for example, where the vacancy rate is zero. There's nothing. Nothing. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn talked to one woman using a Section 8 housing voucher. She says trying to find a place to call home is even worse for people like her on a fixed income. At first, Barbara Gunning says she got a nice introduction letter from her new property management company. A few weeks later, I say it was pretty impersonal. A not so friendly follow up letter. It's a great hardship for me. The letter orders Gunning to vacate and surrender her apartment of seven years by the end of this month. Several of her neighbors, also on Section 8 housing vouchers, have been told to get out as well. I haven't been able to locate a place, and my deadline for expiration of my lease is coming up very soon. The property management company indicated to 7 News it has plans to renovate and get top dollar for these Glendale apartments in a white hot rental market. According to rentjungle.com, the average price for a two bedroom apartment in the Denver metro area went from 1289 this time last year, inflated to 1678 this year. If you're on a fixed income, that's a 30% increase year over year. That's enough to bust anyone's budget. According to the Front Range Economic Strategy Center, the rental crisis is worse than you might think. It says Aurora, for example, has a 0% vacancy rate in rentals, and buying a home is out of the question for most families as well. There's that big group of folks that, that do have stable income and good jobs that can buy a house, you know, but, but not able to do that in the city anymore. Gunning has been on the phone nonstop trying to find a new place. So far, no such luck. I have nowhere to go at this moment. Everything is waitlist. I have nowhere to wait. And that is hmm. so troubling to yeah, hear, isn't tough it? Market, sure. Now, the Denver Housing Authority tells us this problem is actually a new phenomenon. It issues about 6,800 vouchers each year, and so far, about 50 people have contacted the agency needing help. And as you just saw, even with one, there's no guarantee of housing.